are watching Brink TV. Big feel on the track. I've been rapping, that's a, that's a hard question to answer because in, in my book I've been rapping like four or five months, but technically I've been rapping two, two and a half years. Uh, I made a lot of material within the past two or three years, but I'm not going to release it because I feel like it was just practice, you know what I mean, just trying to find myself, find myself as, as a character and, you know, my vocals and, you know, my swag on the mic. So, uh, I probably will later on come out with the, with the mixtape later on down the road, like the lost songs or something like that. Because, I mean, it's good material, but right now I'm just focused on the epidemic and the me and young man. I got the epidemic, which is my mixtape, my solo mixtape coming out. It's, it's not, we haven't had a set release date yet. But it's, it should be coming out before Christmas. I have another mixtape with my homeboy, Young N. And uh, we're about to shoot our second music video here shortly, probably within the next week or two. And uh, I already got a music video, Bleed My Block, on YouTube right now. Just type in Trey Day, Bleed My Block. And uh, MCC Production, uh, Matt with MCC Production, he shot that video. Um, Big ups to him. Uh, he's gonna shoot it again. I'm gonna keep on working with him. Uh, the 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 duo mixtape with me and Young and we haven't set the release date for that, but it's definitely gonna come out before my solo. Who inspired me to do music? Uh, I grew up listening to Pac, Jay, uh, Nas, Ballin' G, because I am originally from Memphis. I live all over. But, uh, you know, Memphis is my city, so, uh, I mean, I grew up with a lot of different people. Uh, DJ Squeaky, that's my homeboy outside of rap, you know what I mean? I keep with him, you know, all the time. That's just my dude, so I grew up listening to him, and, I, you know, and now my uncle, Mr. Z, he used to push, and, uh, and Daryl One, I was trying to, my uncle, they used to push that mixtape, you know, all the underground mixtapes back in the day when I was a kid. So I grew up listening to him, and then I, I mean, well, as I got older, like, I'm 23 now, so, like, when I was, like, I guess, about 17, seven, about 16, 17, 18, I caught up with uh, Squeaky, and, uh, and, you know, he put me up on a lot of games, you know what I mean? He, he uh, we haven't done a track together yet, but, uh, we got something coming. And on my mixtape, my features and a lot of that, I got a lot of features on there. You know, but I'm just gonna let you all uh, not know for now because I want you to anticipate the mixtape, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, I want the mixtape to be about me. I don't want people to hear my mixtape on work and they be like, well, it's only hot because he got so-and-so on there, you know what I mean? So, so yes. Yeah. I got, uh, about two years ago, the first track I did actually, with the skinny pimp, uh, bankrolls. I had that played throughout the whole Memphis, a lot of clubs, my cousin's club, club vision, well, it, it was Unity back then, like vision, I got Inky now. Um, I had bankrolls, I got uh, Bleed My Black, which I shot a video too. Uh, big Phil, big up, big up to Big Phil, the Trap House Music Group. Big Phil likes the track, produced it. It's a, it's a hot track. Uh, I got a new, new jump with uh, Big Phil also did this for me. Uh, it's called It's Okay. And that's, that's what I'm really pushing right now. I got a lot of different singles. I just, you know, I'm going to put it in the streets first and let my mixtape, you know, put my mixtape out there and see what people like. You feel what I'm saying? But so far, I've only let, let people listen to It's Okay 
but maybe about a few times, I'd say like four or five people, and each and every one of them just went crazy off the shit, so. Once, once, once the mixtape drops, then you know, we'll see, we'll see what song stands above the rest. In my free time, uh, I have two kids. I have a daughter, which is two years old. I have a son, which is uh, seven months. I spend as much time as I can with them. Um, I sell cars, you know, as a living. Uh, make my income, because, you know, I haven't. Still to this day, I haven't received any rap check or got no money from a show or nothing like that. I've, I've done shows, you know, for free, you know. But, uh, in my free time, also, I, uh, I try to I try to get in the studio as much as I can, you know, make new material because I mean I hear all these other rappers. I mean, especially Memphis right now. Like I feel like Memphis is about to be what Atlanta has been for the past five years. So, like all these rappers in Memphis, they drop and drop and drop and drop and all these mixtapes. So I feel like I'm I'm I'm, I'm you know I'm ten streets behind them right now. I'm trying to speed up. You know, jump on interstate, speed up to where they at, and actually bypass them, you know what I mean? So, I'm with Stone Mafia, also ENT, the Enterprise. Uh, right now on the roster, we have Young N, we have uh, Big T with the Will Shot Boys. Um, we got a couple of dudes we work with, uh, you know, some local dudes, real talented dudes. Uh, we're trying to push our record label, you know, as much as possible. Lyrically, I feel like, I feel like, seriously, like, there's different sides of me. I have Trey Day, and then my nickname, is, my alias is Coleon. Trey Day is, is me. Like, you know, that they say every, everybody has a good side, you know. Angel on the right side, devil on the left side, whatever. So, uh... I speak about reality as in what I've been through, my life story. Like, I want people to hear my mixtape and just want more and be like, and, and then come to me in a club or wherever they see me at, at the store, or gas station, wherever they see me at, and be like, Trey, when is the next mixtape dropping? That shit was banging, you know what I mean? I, I want that, you know what I mean? Because I feel like it's gonna happen when they hear it. You know, I, I listen to a lot of local rappers, and, and, I, and I'm not down enough of them. I like everything popping right now, Soul to Miss Lance, I, all them, everybody, you know, they're all doing their thing. But I want people to listen to my music and feel like it's different from, it's not the same old sound. I hear a lot of people saying every, Memphis just has the same old sound. Everybody talks about the same thing, selling drugs, glorifying drugs, sex, money, violence, and women. You know, like I said, Trey Day is me. Coleon is, I would say Trey Day is the angel. Coleon is the devil, it's so, so to speak. Uh, for instance, Trey Day would, Coleon would, talk, would glorify somewhat the drug selling and all that. But then Trey Day would, would, would tell you about, well, this is what happened, you know, in the long run. You know, all that money, cars, clothes, Old women with all that stuff, you know. Six months ago, I was handcuffed, shackled up, sitting in a nine by twelve cell. You know what I mean? So when I when I when you hear me on my mixtape, I'm not bragging, I'm not flossing, I'm not trying to, you know, act like I'm above everybody. It's just six months ago I was in a hellhole. You know what I'm saying? And now. I'm glad, you know, God is good, you know what I mean? And what sets me apart from other Memphis rappers is I talk about God in my music. I feel like I talk, I talk about God in my music more than other Memphis rappers do. What kind of music do I make? I mean, I'll be some kind. I got stuff you can play in the club. I got stuff you can play when you're depressed, down bad, you know what I mean? Like, when you're just feeling fucked up. I got stuff you can ride to, cruise to, smoke a blunt to in your car. I mean, I got, my, 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 my mixtape is not just one sound, it's very versatile, you know what I'm saying? So, you can hear a lot of different, I got, I got tracks that sound like damn near some, some rock and roll hip-hop shit, but then I got some shit that sounds like 
Charlie Red is on the beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's it's very versatile mixtape. Uh, Facebook, I don't do Twitter thing. I don't. My life is real. Be, I have a real busy life. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't do the Twitter thing. I do the Facebook thing. You can uh, type in Facebook dot com slash Trey Day. Uh, you can email me at for bookings or anything. You can email me at uh, Trey Day nine zero one at gmail dot com. For my fans, I would like to say y'all check out my music. It's, it's good material. I mean, it's. You know, if you, whatever kind of music you like, you know, you trust me, you will like. You might only like one song on the mixtape, or you might like everything, or you might like half of it, not. But there will be something that anybody in the world can relate to if you just listen to it. Just, just check it out. And it, I'm put on thatpip.com for free. I'm not even gonna sell it. When you see me in the street, for free. I'm not even trying to make no money. I just want to put my name out there and let people hear some good reality music. Cause like I said, my my whole mixtape is like a life story. You know what I mean? And I can't fit my whole life story into one mixtape. Therefore, like I said earlier, I want people to anticipate my next mixtape and hear more about me. Cause like I grew up listening, like I said earlier, my influences, Pop, Jay Z. Listen, I mean, I don't know, you know, I'm sure most of y'all grew up listening to them too. So everybody knows they put life stories. And, into the albums and stuff. So, you know, that was my major influences. So therefore, you know, they rubbed off on me. Check it out, the epidemic coming soon. And we haven't made it. We haven't made the title for me and Young Ends Next Day, but that's coming real soon. And once it comes out, I promise, I promise my name's gonna be out there. And now back to Bring TV, Friday Collier on Sign Out.